Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here and today I'm going to be showing you guys the most overpowered build that you can do in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. This build is amazing. You will absolutely dominate people if you are rocking this build. A lot of people complain about the Varmint Rifle. They say it's overpowered, it's too good, it's too accurate. Well, this build absolutely destroys the Varmint Rifle. In fact, if you're fighting me I'm using this build, the worst thing you can do is to use the Varmint Rifle because you will be destroyed. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to show you all my abilities. Now some of these are high level. In fact, several of them are high level. But I recommend if you are not the right level, save your money. Don't waste your money on abilities that are kind of crappy. I've tested so many abilities and trust me, these are absolutely the best in my opinion. So for the Deadeye, I 100% recommend Slow and Steady. This is amazing. I never see people using this. And a lot of people always complain about Deadeye. Oh, you're using Deadeye. Why are you using Deadeye? It's a part of the game. And this is too good not to use a lot. I literally spam this. Now what this does is that whenever your Deadeye is active, you take a lot less damage and headshots do not kill you outright. Now you cannot sprint or run, but what that means is that whenever you have Deadeye actually going, you can't just run around. You can be on your horse and have it going, you can strafe, you can dodge, you can do all that, but you just can't run or sprint while your Deadeye is going. So you're going to have to go ahead and turn it off if you want to run away or sprint or something like that. Now this right here alone is so good that you can withstand the Varmint Rifle like it's nothing. Basically, what will end up happening is whenever they hit you in the head, it's like they are body shotting you. And the Varmint Rifle does really crappy body shot damage. So if you're using the Varmint Rifle, you can just go ahead and immediately pop them in the head and they can't pop you in the head. Or if you're using something else like a repeater, when you're in Deadeye, you have no bloom, you have really good accuracy, and pretty much all weapons in Deadeye are like the Varmint Rifle. It's really easy if you have the right aim to get headshots. So I definitely say once people figure this out and they start to use slow and steady more and more and they start to use their dead eye more, you're going to see people not use the varmint rifle as much just because you're going to need to use things like repeaters or rifles to take people out who are using this dead eye ability. Now you also might be wondering, well, wait a minute, what happens if you die and you lose all your dead eye? Well, there's ways to actually get your dead eye back really easily. One of those ways is this perk right here, eye for an eye. Whenever you get a headshot, you restore a lot of Deadeye. Now, the thing about this is that if you get four headshots, you have full Deadeye. Each headshot is a quarter of your Deadeye restored. So this is absolutely amazing. Now, this is a perk that if you feel you don't need it, then you don't have to use this perk, but I really love it. And there are things you can do to kind of cheese this as well. What you can do is if you're using Deadeye, if you wait till the very last second, 
when you've lined up a headshot on someone and you deactivate Deadeye right as you take the shot, you will hit them in the head and you will actually restore Deadeye by doing that. So it takes a lot of practice to really get that down. But if you can get that down, you can actually constantly restore your Deadeye using this perk. It is just so good. Now, another thing you can actually do is just go ahead and use something like a potent snake oil. If you die and you're respawning and you want to use your Deadeye on spawn because maybe you're fighting a bunch of people, just go ahead and use a potent snake oil. These are actually really easy to get. All it requires is one Indian tobacco. That's it. And there is a spot that you can go and you can constantly get five Indian tobacco from this spot. And all you have to do to get more is just go back to free roam and all that will respawn. You get five more. Now you have 10. That's the max. You go and craft 10 potent snake oils. And then you just repeat that until you have 20 potent snake oils. And I would recommend also getting 10 more Indian tobacco. But this is the spot right here. There's going to be some over here and some over here. And this is really close to Valentine's. So it's really easy to get Indian tobacco. Now let's go ahead and get back to these abilities. So the next perk is Strange Medicine. Now what this does is that whenever you inflict damage, you are going to heal yourself. Now your health will regenerate a lot slower from its normal rate, but that just means whenever you're just behind cover trying to hide, letting your health regen, it's going to regenerate slower. But you gain a lot of health when you inflict damage, and I mean a lot. Now you definitely gain the most health if you can actually kill someone with a headshot. You get almost a quarter of your health back when you do that. Now there is some diminishing returns if you are spamming shots, let's say with the varmint rifle, at the body of someone. You're going to get health back per shot, but it's not going to be nearly as much as you would if you would headshot them and then actually get the kill. Because when you get that kill, it's like 25% of your health. So it's really easy to stay alive and to maintain your health. One of my biggest problems I always had was if I'm fighting someone, eventually they're going to kill me because my health is going down and down and down. And eventually they'll get me because my health is so low unless I use a potion or a tonic or whatever. But with this, I don't have to worry about that. Every time I kill them, I get a lot of health back. And then guess what? I'm ready for the next fight. So absolutely, I think that strange medicine is amazing. Now, the final perk here is also just incredible. This is never without one. This one will require you to get level 46 if you want to get this. But this is absolutely crazy. Whenever you get headshotted, one of those shots will be blocked by your hat. Your hat will fall off. Now, while you're wearing a hat, you take less damage. So this has great synergy with slow and steady. Because with that, you're also taking less damage when you are in Deadeye. Now, when you're not wearing a hat, you're going to take more damage. But there's a lot of easy ways to get your hat back, especially in free roam. Now this perk might not be the best for something like Team Deathmatch because it's not as easy to get your hat back in that. But in Free Roam, you can get your hat back really quickly, really easily. I'm going to explain exactly how to do it as well. But if you are playing something like Deathmatch, I don't know if I would take this perk with me. I would maybe go for Cold Blooded instead. This is another really good perk and I do recommend this. But I just think that Strange Medicine is better overall. But if you combine these two together, you can get almost half your health back every time you get a headshot kill. Because this will restore about a quarter, and this will restore about a quarter. So it's almost half your health. I want to say it's maybe 40% of your health back per kill, which is pretty crazy. So I definitely love Cold Blooded, but overall, Never Without One is such a better perk because... If someone is using the Varmint Rifle on me, I already talked about, it's really crappy because of Slow and Steady. But let's say they catch me off guard. They pop me in the head. Guess what? My hat falls off. Now I know that they're shooting at me. I aim at them. I use Slow and Steady. Now they can no longer one-shot headshot me, and I kill them. I put my hat back on, and I'm good to go. So now let me go ahead and show you guys how you can exploit this with your hat. You can easily get your hat back. If you're on your horse, all you have to do is actually just select the hat. That's it. So just get on your horse or get close to your horse and you can go ahead and select a hat and just put it on. That's something that you can do really quickly, really easily. And like I said, you can do the same thing if you just call your horse to you, get to the side of it and select the hat. Now, another thing you can do 
is you can actually get the persistent posse. Now, if you are the leader of the posse, you can control this, but I'm going to have to go ahead and reform my posse right now. But with the persistent posse, anytime on foot or on horseback, it doesn't matter, anytime, you can go ahead and actually swap your outfit. So I can actually swap to a different outfit and I will restore my hat every single time I do this. So let's say I'm fighting someone and they take my hat off, I kill them, I just go ahead and go to my posse, select settings, switch my outfit real quick, and I'm good to go. I got my hat back and I can keep fighting and I can block one headshot which is the main thing, you wanna block that headshot because once they take my hat off, I'm using slow and steady and I am ready to take them out. Alrighty guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do some testing. I'm gonna have my friend here help me demonstrate this build and why it's so good and overpowered and also why the varmint rifle just stands no chance against a build like this. The more you see people using builds like this, the less you're gonna see of the varmint rifle just because it really cannot compete with a build like this at all. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my friend shoot me in the head twice with the varmint rifle, then he's gonna shoot me in the head with the Lancaster repeater, and then finally he's gonna shoot me in the head with the bolt action rifle. That gives you a good summary of PvP in this game in general. But also you might notice I don't have a hat on right now. We were doing some testing with the hat perk to see how much extra damage will I take without the hat. And from what we could tell, it looked like I was taking no extra damage at all. So maybe it's bugged right now, I'm not exactly sure. But from our testing, it really did look like I was not taking extra damage. And remember, with the hat, I can withstand one headshot for free, and that is amazing. But we're not doing that, we're actually showing off slow and steady here. So, let's go in and get this started. So now, my friend's gonna shoot me in the head, he's gonna start with the varmint rifle. And you're going to see it did barely any damage at all. Now right there, that was the Lancaster Repeater. And next up is going to be the Bolt Action Rifle. And I was able to survive all of that. Now check this out. When I get a headshot on him, I get a huge chunk of health back. And I get a lot of Deadeye back. I'm going to go ahead and shoot him as well. This is my other friend. And now I have my full Deadeye back. And I have pretty much half of my health back just from getting two headshots and two kills. So that is how insane this build really is. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. Chocolate's coming back, so let me go ahead and shoot him now. And look at that. I mean, I'm able to get my health back pretty much from four kills, and I'm able to get my Deadeye back from getting four kills, which is pretty ridiculous. Alrighty, guys. So that's going to pretty much do it for the video. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and this has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.